Well, would you look at what day it is? It's one month since the last Mythbusters video. That means we're due another one. And we've actually had a major update since the last one. So like, there is actual new myth to explore here. So let's start with something relevant and topical, with Derpy. This is a relatively simple one. Do souls trapped during Derpy's mayorship have doubled health? Picking up a soul of an enemy whilst Derpy is active will actually give you a soul with the doubled health value. Yeah, so myth confirmed. Not really. As it turns out, even existing souls have this doubled health, and it's just anything that you summon that has doubled health, regardless of whether or not it was captured during Derpy. So actually, this myth is busted. Hey, did you know that 66% of you are not subs... I really don't want to read this cringe line about telling you to subscribe. I'm pretty sure you'd do it either way if you enjoyed this video, right? So subscribe if you liked it and spare me the cringe of saying it. Thank you. Another derpy myth. Does the doubled minion output work with minion fuel? Or does it override the fuel? Or does the fuel override the double buff? As it turns out, the answer is none of these. Kinda. This perk doesn't actually buff the speed of minions, it buffs their output, meaning every time they do produce something, they produce twice as much as they normally would, meaning it does work with speed. It even works with soul flow engines, as they produce the same amount as a normal melon minion would, because they have the doubled output from Derpy, but half the output from the soul flow engine. Whilst on the topic of necromancy, does having two different necromancy items increase the chance of getting soul drops? The answer simply appears to be no. Just having any necromancy items in your inventory gives any mob a set chance of dropping their soul, and this isn't increased at all from having anything else in your inventory. We can prove this by killing 50 lapis zombies with only a summoning ring, and then killing 50 lapis zombies with a summoning ring and a necromancer sword or reaper scythe. These enemies have a very high chance to drop their souls, but the number of enemies that drop their souls on both of these tests are not significantly different enough, and as a result, we can show that there is no difference in soul harvesting rates here. Thus, combining two pieces of armor or weapons in an anvil, combine their stats like it does in vanilla? This one seems like it should work, but you never know with Hypixel's weird custom enchant system. So here, I have two armor pieces that have growth 4 and protection 4 on them, and in theory, combining them should give me a single piece of armor with growth 5 and protection 5. I've also put a different tree forge on one of them, and recombobulated one of them, to really see how this anvil works. Putting them both in, we can see the combined item does indeed combine the enchants into protection 5 and growth 5. But interestingly, it copies the extra data of the item on the left, but not the item on the right. So if you're ever transferring enchants across items, keep this in mind. Do the Shadow Assassin's Peace bonuses work when teleporting in other ways, such as with Ender Pearls? This armor set gives you bonuses on each piece, such as regenerating health or mana, or giving you speed and strength when you teleport. This is intended to give you bonuses when you teleport with an aspect of the end, and obviously, it works with such. It also works with other teleport abilities like Shadow Furies and Silent Death. But what about something without a natural ability, like Ender Pearls? If it does work, we should expect to see our speed and strength stat in tab go up. And if it doesn't work, then nothing should happen. So let's see. And actually, yeah, it worked. You can even spam these, and it's a decent way to heal up some health and mana quickly by just spamming these somewhere. That's really cool. Does Soul Eater work with the Scorpion Bow's ability? The bow deals damage based on your strength stat, so it should work in theory. If this actually worked, then you would be dealing an overpowered amount of damage. However, reading the enchant closer, it says that the strength is only added at the end of the damage calculation of your next hit, meaning you never actually have a huge strength stat. It's purely a made-up number that just kinda increases damage once. So this myth is completely busted. Does placing two diamond spreadings in a minion make it produce more diamonds? 
Not only this is quite possibly the stupidest idea, because your minions are never gonna have enough storage to hold anything, but you literally cannot do this. It's physically impossible to put two diamond spreadings into any minion. It just won't let you. You could have tested this yourself in quite literally 20 seconds, and yet you still look the arguably longer route of leaving a comment on this video, banned from the channel. Myth. I feel as if putting true or busted on screen at the end of each myth will look nicer. Is it possible to break your legs in Skyblock by getting Rancher Boots to the slowest possible setting, wearing a Warden Helmet and using Slowness Potions? This one's interesting. So apparently, the Rancher Boots can actually set your maximum speed all the way down to 5. The practical use of this I do not know, but it's a thing you can do, and it's a thing I want to do. This already slows you down to a literal crawl, but watching is for nerds, and I don't want to be able to walk. Next up, putting on the Warden Helmet, and surprisingly, this actually works, and my speed is now 2.5. I fully expected to still have 5 speed, but apparently not. To finish this off, we're gonna need a slowness potion, and this is brewed using um, uh, a swiftness potion and a fermented spider eye. Except, this potion didn't lower our speed at all. That's fine though, I have another trick up my sleeve. Going through my entire effects list, I can disable all of the effects that give me speed, which brings my base speed quite a bit down. I can then wear a full set of super heavy armor with the heavy reforge, which brings my speed down by 33. Then also put heavy on my rancher boots for a total reduction of 34 speed. A venomous potion would reduce our speed by another 20, but unfortunately, even with all of this, the lowest speed we can get is 2. Not quite 0, but it's basically the same. Maybe one day we'll get more abilities that slow down your speed, and you can come back to this. What happens when you apply an ultimate enchant to a set of silver fangs? Silver fangs are unique, as they are the only weapon in the game that can stack. This also means that they're technically a way to produce the most expensive single inventory slot, as you can apply the most expensive tier 7 enchantments to a stack of these, if you really wanted to. But can you apply an ultimate enchant? According to the anvil, you can, but when you actually click the apply button, it eats 63 of the silver fangs and only applies the enchantment to one of them. So, you know, that sucks. The same thing happens when applying regular enchants to silver fangs too. So, if you're trying to make a cool flex, you're gonna have to apply these enchantments one by one. This seems to be the end of this Mythbusters episode. Before we end though, there's one more myth that we've had commented on every episode we've released. And we've ignored it, because it's just not funny. But today, we're finally gonna put the question to the test. Do Skybuck players ever go outside? This is such a stupid question. Of course Skybuck players go outside. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna bust this myth in real life by taking one step outside right now. Oh.